2025, why are you still handing off static UI? Use Lottie animations to show how your button reacts on hover, click, and all. No guesswork, no extra notes, just motion that speaks for itself. In this video, I'll show you how to create an interactive button animation in Figma using the Lottie Files plugin. We'll then add segments to represent different states like hover and click, and then preview the interaction to see it in action. Let's begin by creating a button animation. To animate this, we'll first create a sequence of frames in Figma. The idea is to design a visual flow where a subtle highlight moves across the button for the hover state, followed by a fill effect that represents the click interaction. Once the frame sequence is ready, the next step is to turn it into a prototype. Start by assigning a flow starting point to the first frame. Then, name the prototype so it's easy to identify later. Connect the frames in sequence and change the transition type from Instant to Smart Animate. This will allow Figma to smoothly animate changes between the frames. You can adjust the easing settings to control how the animation feels. For this example, I'll choose Linear. You can also tweak the duration to make the transitions faster or slower depending on what works best for your design. Once the prototype is set up, it's time to preview and export the animation. Open the Lottie Files for Figma plugin and go to the Export tab. Select the prototype you just created. Perfect! Everything looks good. Now save the animation to your workspace. This saves the file in your team's shared space, making it easy to access or hand off to developers. Click the menu icon next to the animation and open it in your browser. To make this animation interactive, we need to segment it. Segmenting allows different parts of the animation to be triggered by actions like hover or click. To do that, Click on the Segments button and set the start and end frames for the section you want to define. Start with the idle state. Then create additional segments for hover and click using the same method. Once all the segments are in place, it's time to test the animation. Click on the handoff button and switch on the Enable Asset CDN toggle. Now either copy the asset link or grab the HTML embed code provided below. Let's take this into CodePen and preview how it works. Super! This works perfectly. And that's how you can use animation to clearly show interaction states without writing a single line of code. If you found this helpful, use the Lottie Files for Figma plugin to start building interactive animations right inside your design files. And if you're looking to deepen your motion design skills, take the Lottie Files for Figma certification to create high quality Lottie animations directly in Figma. You can also explore our platform series to learn everything the Lottie Files platform has to offer, from previewing and testing to sharing animations across teams. All the links are in the description.